<laughs> we are here in El Salvador. We are going to. Tano, okay, to and you can't even so hear me because I'm all stuck on the phone. Pasquino. Okay. Perfecto. Para Salvador. We've been to a lot of 
lot of fun places. Most of my videos aren't like in this video aren't of me speaking just because it's, I've been around a lot of people and it's just really hard to like just focus on just me speaking so and without like getting all the background noise and stuff so most of the footage in this video is just like scenery and like cute things that I've seen I've had a lot of fun so my trip in El Salvador is almost over and I'm really sad but I'm here at my grandparents house and they have so many animals. I'm about to show you guys some of the chickens or hens or whatever you call them. Just had little babies. And they're so cute. Hold on, I'm gonna show them to you guys. Look at this cuteness. Look at these little babies. Look at that little black one. Oh my god, that one's so cute. I didn't even see, I almost killed them. We have more little chickens here. They're so cute. I want to touch them, but apparently the moms are really mean, so I'm not going to. This is a little baby turkey. You can barely even see it. Isn't it so cute? I want to go find the cows, but they like let the cows go and roam, like to go eat and stuff. So they don't bring them back until like the afternoon, and by the time I got here, they had already let them out. So hopefully when they bring them back, I'll still be here so I can show you guys the cows they have. They used to have like horses and pigs, but their pigs got sick. I don't know what happened, like, but they got sick and they died. And then their horse, they gave it away because I guess the horse kept fighting with like the cows or something like that. I just found their cats, look. I think they have like four cats, but here's one. Hi kitty. Look at that cute kitty. Hi kitty. Okay, bye. So I really want to go walk around and show you guys the land and everything, but I don't have the appropriate shoes, so I don't know how far I'm going to make it, because I packed my tennis shoes, but somebody took them out of the bag and out of the luggage, and they didn't make it to the end of this trip, so um, I'm going to see how far I can make it with these sandals on and show you guys around. It's about over here opening goodies. <laughs> what else did grandma bring? Ooh, quesadilla. Okay, so in El Salvador, quesadilla is a bread, not a tortilla. Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. All right, you guys, finally I'm going to take this hike real quick to go drop off some out. There's a lot of cow shit on the floor be careful. Oh nasty, it smells like cow poop. Okay, I'm gonna take well I'm not actually taking anything except my camera. <laughs> I'm going down to where my uncles were. Okay, this is hard because I had to like look at the ground and make sure I'm not stepping in cow poop. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna turn this around and you guys can see the view, all right? <laughs> While I concentrate where I'm walking. Look at the cute little doggy that's following us. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby. That's Canela. Look at this. Okay, girl, you're gonna push me down. Why is my camera not focusing? Okay, now it's more focused. For some reason, it was like super out of focus and wasn't like concentrated on anything. Look at her waiting patiently. So cute. Look at this amazing view from my grandpa's backyard. Wow. It's beautiful. Canela? Shh. Okay. Well, Isabel said no, so I was just making sure. Look at this. Wow. Okay, I'm probably like, I'm really scared right now. Ew! There's proof that there's cows here. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way down there, honestly, because these shoes are just not okay. If you guys could just wait till I catch up a little. You could just like hurry. Ah! See, I just. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm so nervous. Last time I came down here, I was wearing like 
tennis shoes so it was a lot easier to actually do this walk right now i'm in flip-flops that aren't my flip-flops so they're big flip-flops on me so i'm struggling a little bit they're like all the way over there like they legit left me at this point i'm gonna stop recording for a little bit just to catch up okay <laughs> okay you guys yeah, i've come a long way bad idea the only reason i came down here is because i wanted to show you guys the land so bad because it's so nice but <laughs> i think i'm gonna break myself <laughs> yeah i'm not kidding <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go all the way down there. They're like picking up corn right now. That's what it looks like. Is that what they're doing? They're cutting it. Okay. Yeah, they're cutting corn, like picking corn. I don't, you probably can't see from here. And like, that's them. Oh my God, this is such clear. Wow. So Ricky just made it down there. I see him. They're cutting corn. Okay, looks like the dogs are joining us on this adventure. Oh. Hold on, I gotta get up here somehow. Over right here, there's a little step. Oh, I did the hardest thing possible, okay. <laughs> Look at the dogs. They're all following me. <laughs> they're guiding me, making sure I don't fall back. <laughs> I think that's what they're doing. So apparently that's where our parents, when they were children, they used to swing from those vines. That's how they would play here. How crazy is this? This is where my mommy grew up playing. How cute. <laughs> wow. I definitely need a shower after this. <laughs> so instead of going back up from where we came from, we we're trying to get to the road and just walk back up. God, they're like, you're so cute. And just walk straight because that road was like, well, not road, it wasn't a road, it was a path. It was really like muddy and stuff. And my sandals just were not about it. So, okay, I'm gonna put it, I'm out of breath. I'm about to put you guys away because I need to get up there and I can't do this while I'm recording, okay. Oh, okay, still trying to catch my breath, but at least now we're out of the mountainous area and we're on a straight path. It's not focusing. Okay, there you go. Look, all these doggies are so cute. They're all my uncle's dogs, and they all helped us make it back safely. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so sorry I keep cussing. I'm just really tired and out of breath and I need water. I need to wash my feet after this. This is a dirt road. Whew. So yeah, this is how we live humbly in El Salvador. <laughs> I love these dogs. Whew. Gave me a whole tour of all the family that lives where. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost home. <laughs> Look at all that cow poop. I'm gonna chug some water after this. <laughs> that Isabel picked her up to bring her back home and she pooped all over <laughs> her, ew. Um, I've had such a good trip. It has been so humbling, like coming here and seeing how people live in Central America. And it's not my first time here. I've been here multiple times before. And each time I come, I fall more and more in love with this place. And every time I go back, I just feel so much more humble and so much more grateful for everything that we have, knowing that, you know, my family was able to get away from all of this and make something of their opportunity that they were given in the United States, literally the American dream. And it's just really humbling to come back to their roots and like see how they lived and how they grew up. And yeah, I really love it. It makes me really happy.